Kevin. Welcome everybody to Kevin's Commentary, sponsored by U.S. Bank. And today we have one of our very favorite all-time cowboys, Mark Quest and Huff. We affectionately call him Quest, and uh, what a career he's had at Wyoming. And comes to an end uh, the home season uh, comes Saturday against Hawaii. And I know Quest, that's going to be a a very emotional day for you and the family, I'm sure. I mean, it's going to be an extremely emotional day. I still remember the first day I came over here the summer of 2010, and it's just, it's, it's incredible how the, the times just flies and get away from you, but I'm very excited, and I, I love the things that I have accomplished here in Wyoming, and I love the, the lessons that they have taught me. Well, you have been one of the most popular Cowboys, uh, certainly, no question about it. Uh, what are some of the things you'll take away from the University of Wyoming when you go on with your life? It's just the lessons they taught me. Uh, just going through this whole program is something that you have to be very committed to and just be a disciplined individual. When I came here, I wasn't the most disciplined individual, but just going through the program, like it really helped me mature as a man and become the person I am today, and I'm very grateful for that. If you were uh, recruiting a junior in high school like you were once recruited, how would you sell Wyoming to a young man? I tell them it's a great place. It's a great community. The people here are fantastic. And it's, it's somewhere you can really grow and come here and find yourself. And it's a beautiful place. Uh, the, the whole state of Wyoming is a very beautiful environment. It's, it's some place that you can look back and say, hey, hey I really had fun there. You know, uh, I always love this when it happens. But it doesn't happen often enough, I don't believe. Uh, once you leave the university or your university and you get into your life and your children, uh, it's hard to come back. Uh, do you see yourself as a guy who will bring the kids back and, and uh, show them uh, where you lived and where you played and all that kind of thing? Oh, most definitely, because uh, like I said earlier, this, this community is it's a great one, and it's been a vital part of my life for the past four years, and it's some place I'll always come back and show my kids, like, hey, this is a place that made me who I am today, like the life lessons that I learned that I'm trying to t install in y'all, I learned here in Wyoming. Um, is it, uh, what would you say some of the fondest memories? I know there's probably a ton of them, but what will you remember about Wyoming and your experience here? It's just the love that you get and the support that you get from everyone. I, I remember the first time I, I went to Walmart and someone actually recognized me. I was just walking there. He walked up behind me and grabbed my shoulder and was like, hey, more questions. And it, it's like, I mean, you know people know you, but just, just to know that they come and they feel comfortable enough to come up there and approach you and just speak to you and just tell you how proud they are of you and, and the team. It just, it's just a great feeling, and it's something that i never forget. Of course, they wouldn't recognize you now <laughs> that you got uh, your new do. Tell us a little bit about having uh, those uh, long locks all that time, and now all of a sudden uh, you're a clean-cut looking young guy. I really don't know how to explain it. It's just something that's kind of happened, but I feel like it came at a great moment. I'm going through a different phase of my life right now. I'm starting to get into the real life, as a lot of people would call it. So um, it, I think it came at a very nice time. I'm, I'm getting to the business world, and I think it presents me more as professional-like. Let's talk about your future. First, uh, kind of the short term, what, what you have uh, planned, and then we'll talk about long term. Or short term, I, I just want to get an opportunity to be able to play at the next level. Uh, the next level, but I mean, if that doesn't happen, then I have a, a backup plan for a backup plan. So I'm a, I'm someone who always like to come prepared. So first, if I do get opportunity to play in the NFL, and then after I retire, I would like to get into sports broadcasting, just because people would know my face. I've been around the NFL scene for some uh, quite a bit of time, but if if I don't get the opportunity, I would like to go back to Texas and probably start coaching and maybe end up starting probably at a smaller school just as a position coach, but hopefully at the end of my run, I want to be a head coach or athletic director. One of the great names we've ever had at Wyoming. Uh, curious about how you got the name Mark Queston. It's a great name. I mean, it's, a, it's a name that uh, a lot of people like. Uh, when I was little, I, was, I wasn't quite too fond of it just because it was hard for me to learn how to spell. It's just Mark Queston is a lot of letters, and uh, it was a struggle, but just growing up and you hear it's a name that sticks with people when they say Mark Weston like uh, it just stays with you like hey I know that name I know that guy and it's it's something I'm very proud of here today. I'm curious uh, do you talk with uh, Tashawn Gibson or uh, any of the Cowboys that are in the NFL and kind of get a feel about it? Oh yeah most definitely uh, those guys have paved the way for, uh, for the guys that's coming out now and coming out in the future 
And it's really cool just to have some guys that you're really close with who tell you what you need to do, what you need to work on, some things in your craft that you need to fix and uh, what, what expect at the next level. So it's been very helpful having guys like him on the next level. As you look back at uh, the four years, uh, and maybe you don't, do you have any regrets about uh, coming here or anything that's happened here? Oh, not at all. Uh, I love every moment that, that happened here, even the rough times, the adversity that we went through as a football team. It just created the person I am today, and it, it, taught, me, it taught me a lot of lessons just as far as how to fight through adversity and continue to move on. What do you suppose uh, will go through your mind when you pull that helmet on to come through the arch and touch the bucking horse as you head out to uh, Jonah Field that final time? Uh, I, I really haven't thought about it yet, and it's, it's kind of just crazy just thinking about how, how it didn't pass me by so fast, and Saturday will really be the last time I get to play on this field, and I mean, like I said earlier, I can't regret anything. I, I love it. I love every opportunity I have to come out here and play and compete in front of all you guys, and it's just a great feeling just knowing that I have completed a journey in my life and been able to move on to the next stage. Well, it's been a great time having you here. We've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, you're a great cowboy and uh, a captain, and, and a lot of great things happen to you. So congratulations and very best of luck in the future. I thank you all for having me on. Okay, Mark Weston Huff, Cowboy Senior, playing his final game in Jonah Field Saturday against Hawaii.